Hi, everyone. This is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a weekend love messages for new love. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's newly joining me. So grateful that Spirit has guided you here. I will be pulling some initials for some clues, some numbers. I do have a big, beautiful golden leaf of charms today. So we will be using that to see what the charms are sharing with you. Welcome back, everybody. Let's see what spirit has for you. Let's call in our spirit guides. Please use this reading to manifest a love that you are worthy and deserving of. Or if this love is just now coming into your life, please confirm it. Welcome back, as I said, and welcome to a lot of my new subscribers. I've had a lot of new subscribers recently. So grateful that you have found us here on this channel. Spirit, please share with me new love heading into the weekend, October 25th through the 27th of 2024. Spirit, please share with me what is it that you need me to be thinking of? What's coming my way? I am listening for you now. A mountain. Know that you are protected as you face challenges, but remain cautious. So you're being protected. The number 22 is jumping out at me. You can climb any mountain. You can overcome any obstacle is what they're saying. Uh, just takes time to climb, they're saying. Okay. I have flowers are blooming. Number 11, be generous. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. So you can have it all. You can have everything that you want. So I just feel like it's a matter of time. And I have love. The number 17, love surrounds all your connections. Move forward positively in all areas of your life. This feels like a love moving forward. This feels like something is going to move forward. So I'm just going to say you know, something along those lines. We'll start with that energy. I always like to start with a couple energy cards just to kind of warm up, so to speak, and see what spirit has for us. But love is moving forward. Spirit, please share with me. What is it that you have? I have a three of cups. I have strength. Seven of cups. Knight of Wands. I do feel like something is moving forward out of everyone that's been put in front of you lately. I feel like there's one person in particular that they're saying that you have the hots for <laughs> is how they're saying it, or they have the hots for you. How about that? So it is moving forward, whoever this is, but they're definitely, um, they think you're hot, you know, it's that kind of an energy, but there's, there's other people that have been put in front of you and this particular person, um, it just stands out. They stand out. You stand out. It, there's just no comparison to you is what they're saying. So they have probably been dating for a while and they just haven't met anybody that they like as much as you. And I do feel like they just want to uh, put more energy into this connection. So something's moving forward. I have a nine of wands. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. Ten of swords. Uh, also a feeling of it's not over. There, there was a sense of, but I haven't heard from this person or this person doesn't reach out the way that I want them to. Uh, maybe you'll hear from them. Maybe they have been just, you know, delayed for some reason, but maybe you'll hear from them heading into the week, into the weekend that something is about to start. I really do feel that we are moving forward with somebody, somebody that you've been thinking of, they've been thinking of you. So it is, it is somebody that wants to get this thing going. Let's see what they want you to know. Spirit, please share with me. What is it that you need me to know? What is it that you have for me? I have a new phase, opening up, renewing, rising above, changing their mind. So this could have started out slow. This it, Sometimes you meet somebody and there is a delay from the time that we meet them to the time that we actually get things going. It could be weeks, it could be months. So I feel like that that's the case. You could have met this person weeks ago, 
it didn't really, you know, take off, but you were interested, they were interested for whatever reason, it just didn't, you know, kick in, but they have your number, Spirit said, and it's almost this feeling of um, they've been waiting for the right time. And I do feel like it's somebody that you were kind of wondering, like, whatever happened to that person, love, unconditional love, self-love, wholeness, affection. So is this the love that we've been waiting for, Spirit? Is this the love that, that we have been asking for? Blowing kisses, giving and receiving, affection being returned. I always like that blowing kiss, very flirty energy. Um, even little kids can do it. So let's see what else I have. And I have a healing heart, healing from a breakup, getting out of a, an abusive relationship, this person could have needed a little bit of space and time before they were ready to jump right in. But it is a very much a feeling that you're the first person in a long time that they've actually been interested. So I guess that's what's holding them to this. Um, I have your number and I think I need to do something or you're going to forget about them. Let's grab some initials. Let's see what the initials are saying. I've got just a reminder, if you don't see your person's initials, this is for new love today. So this person could be just now coming into your energy. It could be somebody that you haven't met yet, and they could be just coming. These are just clues. So let's just get a handful, see what they want to share with us today. I have the letter F. I have a Z. I have an E. The number two, a D, an N, a K, a B, the letter P, another letter E, I have a letter N, I have a letter G, another Z, I have an X, and I have the number five. So it could be five weeks, five days, May. This could be February. So those are just a handful of clues. Let's see what else Spirit has for you today. Spirit, tell me more about this connection. What is it that you want me to know? I do feel like something is moving forward. I'm going to say it that way. Whether it's new energy that's coming into your life someone that you met recently, somebody that maybe you were talking or chatting online with, but it hasn't really taken off yet. And now all of a sudden, there is this sense of somebody reaching out. Ace of Wands, I have the hots for you. I really feel like that's what's going on. I have a death possibly coming out of another relationship, even a toxic relationship. So they could be hesitant. I have an Ace of Cups. Beautiful. And I have a five of cups. I feel like this person is struggling with, I have been disappointed so many times, the serial dater, you know, the person who dates, um, you know, somebody a couple of times, it doesn't really go anywhere. They get tired of meeting people. That could be you, that could be them. But I do feel like they just pushed away a toxic energy. And I feel that there is this sense of, Oh, I just needed a break. I just needed a break from people, dating, relationships. Um, and that's okay. But this feeling of there's something about you is coming into me that you aren't going to be able to open them up to new feelings, exciting again for the first time in a long time, um, wanting to be in a relationship for the first time in a long time wanting to see where it goes. And I feel like you are just changing their mind, I guess, about, you know, what, what it is that they want, what it is that they're looking for. So we, we, a lot of us put ourselves kind of in that holding pattern for a little while until the right one comes along. And, and I feel like that's what's going on here. You could be just the right one. I have a six of swords. There's the story of I'm going to tell you that I walked away from somebody who was very toxic or abusive or crazy. Like there's, I feel like there's a crazy, a craziness around it. 
I have a five of pentacles. No, that came into me as nothing I did was good enough. There was always chaos. There was always difficulty. So this could be you, this could be them, but there was always difficulty and life is too short to have all that chaos in your life. So they're looking for something different. You're looking for something different. And it's almost a feeling of, I just waited until the universe said, hey, look over here. You know, I've got something for you. I've got someone for you and just literally turned our head. So you could have literally turned their head. You could have walked into a room. You could have walked into a bar. They literally could have just, you know, taken a look at you and said, whoa, who's that? So it could be something along those lines. Spirit, tell me more about this connection. What is it that you want me to be manifesting? What is it that you want me to be claiming? Letting go. If someone if someone leaves you confused, more than comforted, you need to release their access to you. So it is definitely a sense of releasing. I do believe that. Forgive and release. You are stronger when you carry love and forgiveness, of course. So it could be them, could be you. Sometimes, like I said, you put that area of your life on hold. It's just because you just can't deal with it. And, and that's a good thing because that tells you that you're just not ready. You, you don't, you don't want to you know, jump into something when you're not ready either. Um, you are enough. The person you are meant to be with will love you the way you are. You don't need to change. Sometimes we need to hear that, don't we? That we are, we are certainly good enough. <laughs> we are certainly worthy. We are certain, certainly deserving. And be honest, have heart to heart conversations are necessary. It is safe for you to talk about your feelings to this person. This person's going to allow you to be open and honest. Maybe we have we have a deep conversation this weekend and we get to know each other a little bit better. And we're on the same page. Spirit's saying that there's a lot of things that we have in common. There's a lot of things that we we like about each other. We can tell. Um, and we just kind of hit it off. And, and again, going back to that feeling of I think I hit it off with this person the first time I met them. But I don't I feel like there was a delay from the time I met them till the time that we get things started. So I, I don't think it's abnormal. I feel like somebody just maybe they had something else on their plate for a while. Maybe they were letting something go. Maybe they wanted some space and time between relationships, which is what I'm really feeling. And I have a seven of pentacles ready to start again, came in. I have a four of pumpkins. There's a little bit of guarding there. Uh, King of swords and a chariot. So this is coming into me as the honesty. This is coming into me as somebody saying to you, I did need some space. I needed some space. I just wasn't ready to start something up again. But I'm feeling better now and I'm ready to move forward again. So I would rather have somebody be honest with me that they were not ready to be in a relationship then somebody start a relationship with you and then, you know, six weeks down the road saying, I shouldn't have done this. I, I wanted to be, I should have been alone for a while. So I feel that this person taking a break for themselves is really the best thing that's going to be for both of you. Because I, I do feel like they're finding themselves again. They're trying to let down their guard, even though they feel like they are guarding themselves and they, they could be very much aware of that. And they are detaching, as the word spirit said, from their past. They, they could be literally um, unraveling things. They could have connections to somebody with a house or a home or bills or money. And they literally are like detaching themselves from somebody. So it is a feeling of I've got to detach until I can be, you know, even think about somebody else. So that's what's going on. I have a judgment. Oh, I love the gate. You guys know I love gates. Uh, I feel like I'm ready to walk through that. Uh, you know, a cemetery could be could be scary, but it also can be very peaceful and comforting. So there is this sense of I know what I want, and I'm not afraid to walk through those gates. So 
that I feel like you're both both in a good place. I have a seven of potions. Of course, there's a lot of people out there. Of course, there's always choices. Um, but what did they say? No one compares to you. They said, I have a, this is my hanged man in this, this card, suspension. There's the waiting. There's the, I didn't know what I wanted. So I didn't want to lead you on, which I appreciate. I, I would much rather somebody not lead you on than starts, like I said, you know, just wait, just wait. Bottom of the deck, I have an ace of potions. I feel like once this gets going, look at the eye, you know, like I can't get you out of my mind or you really caught my eye. You really grabbed my attention. And I do feel like I'm going to have feelings for you very quickly. So this could be somebody that knows that about themselves, that they have a tendency to fall in love. They have a tendency to um, want to give, you know, when they start a relationship, they want to be all in. And if they emotionally just weren't there, then they could have delayed this for a little while. And now they're stepping up, they're stepping to the plate and they're, they're, the timeline is better is how it's coming in. Let's get some charms. Let's see what the charms are saying today. This beautiful big leaf. My mother had this dish. I can remember this dish as a kid. I think it was my grandmother's on the dining room table, like with olives and in, in it for holidays and stuff. So I always pull this out of, in, during the, the uh, fall. Let's get us a couple of scoops. Let's see, it's a different, different grouping of charms. I had a di whole different bowl of charms that I haven't used for a little while. So I'm like, ooh, let's see what's in the, the, these charms today. First thing that's jumping out is this big, beautiful heart. Somebody, and it's an open heart, isn't it? It's like a free flowing heart. Like I'm open, I'm op willing to open my heart. I, I really, I like the energy of just the shape of that heart. I have a number four, I have an eight, could be 48, could be an age, could be April, August. Let's see, I have a castle. I'm going to start grouping some of these things together. See what I feel. Here's another heart, beautiful. This is uh, the half half a heart that's interested. It's, you know, the, the saying of you, your cup is half full or half empty. So I feel like this person is trying to let you know, I try to be very optimistic. I try to look at that, you know, it's it's half full. And, and I, I feel like this person is trying to let you know, I'm trying to be very optimistic about my future and where I'm headed. All right, so I have a castle. I have a couple of crowns. Let's put these crowns together because we could be an emperor, an empress. We could be king and queen. If you're a queen, you want to attract a king, be, be a queen to attract your king. So I do have this, this feeling of we're, we're a little bit of a we're made for each other. I like that. Let's see. I have a tooth fairy that came into me as a child. It could be a child that's small. Some of somebody might have, it could be a grandchild, but it feels like uh, somebody who could have a child that's like tooth fairy age. And that's kind of a fun little uh, age to be in. I've got some flowers going on here. Let's see what else I'm feeling. Here's another crown. Lots of crowns, four crowns. Okay. So, Definitely this feeling of, um, I, I'm definitely feeling royal. <laughs> I'm feeling royalty. I have the number six. No, I have the number nine. Okay. So September, that could be, I have these flowers, somebody giving you flowers, flower garden, gardening, something like that. Um, I have a dream. I'm going to put this dream with these flowers for some reason. It could be somebody that says, you know, when I retire, all I want to do is play in my yard. I, I Here's a big mushroom. I want to have a fairy garden. I want to have a perennial garden. I want to have roses. You know, somebody who I want to have rabbits. Look at this. It's like I want to have a rabbit in my garden. I want to have, you know, wild I want to live somewhere where I have wild animals. I want to hear the owls at night. So I just feel like um, that's something that you'd like to have in your lifetime is just this kind of uh, very 
like a sanctuary of this perennial garden or flower bed or something like that. I have Cupid's arrow. I'm going to take that. I'm going to put that up here with my little, my little hearts. I have a witch's broom. Let's see what else I'm feeling. I have a cat. Yeah, this feels like I've got a child. This is like Hello Kitty and a tooth fairy. So someone might have a child in their family. It could be a niece or a nephew. Um, I'm leaning more towards a girl for some reason, but it could just be a young child. I have music being very important. I have, um, I feel like we listen to music. We could listen to music more than, oh, that's coming into me as music, but it's a dollar sign. <laughs> you know what it came into me is like a, um, a music, a G clef. All right, so I'm going to go with music, but it has dollar. I'm going to put this up here with my castle. So this person could have a beautiful home. They could have a beautiful home. But I did feel like the music was that we listen to music more than we watch TV, that we have a tendency to, to put on the stereo or put on CDs or, or um, something like that instead of watching TV. We just like having music in the background. So I think that that is something that you just both enjoy. I have a peace, peace and comfort. That's, that's coming into me as fight for what I believe in more than anything that I believe in. I believe in, um, I don't know, uh, human rights. I believe in, uh, I don't know, the weather, you know, make, taking care of the weather, taking care of our, our earth, um, something along those lines. But I just have, I feel like I'm just, I, I fight for what I want. That's how that came into me. Yeah, here's a dragon. Yeah, there's a part of me that feels like I fight for what I want or what I believe in. That that's, that feels like it's important to me. I have a witch's hat and a witch's broom. So I'm just going to, because we're so close to Halloween, I'm just going to put that as I love Halloween <laughs> for now. I have no idea what these are. I don't know if this is a paper airplane. I think it's a paper airplane. And then this looks like a miniature pocketbook. So I'm going to put this with the kids stuff, you know, like it's all little kids stuff, something like that. And then I have these two beautiful um, keys. I You've captured my heart. You have the key to my heart and I have the key to your heart. So uh, beautiful, beautiful clues. Let's see what else spirit has for us. Spirit, what else do you want me to know about this connection? What is it that you want us to be manifesting or claiming? I have a sturgeon moon, August. Person could be born in August. I have deeper waters. Tap into your reserves and maintain the course. I like that. Tap into your, um, that you're stronger than you think. I'm going to say it that way. That you, I mean, what's that saying? God only gives you as much as you can take. And sometimes we don't believe it, but it is the truth. So tap into everything that you have. If you're struggling right now, you're stronger than what you think. And I have an oak moon in December mighty strength summon the fortitude to weather any storm so they are definitely letting you know that you're strong for some reason and maybe you had a hard week it could be it has nothing to do with this relationship you're just tired you're uh you had a hard week and you're heading into the weekend and spirit saying you know you're strong you've got some good things coming your way we could be re hearing from somebody you're spending some time with somebody that that we uh, had a good connection with and we want to see where it goes i have a taurus enduring stability revel in your sensuality and value what's truly lasting absolutely so we could have a taurus energy as well today all right so let's see what else they're saying a couple more cards please spirit where is this connection headed what do you ultimately want for us let's see I have a hermit. I have a king of wands. I have a four of wands. Beautiful. And uh, look at this, the yellow brick road. <laughs> I love this. So here comes the, you know, it's interesting because I keep saying this person, it's almost as if you'd never expected to hear from this person again because they're the of whatever this delay is. And you thought, well, we had a good, you know, 
first meeting and then it didn't go anywhere. You might have even had a first couple of dates with this person and then for whatever reason, it just disconnected and you haven't heard from them. But I do have this feeling of this person is starting to choose like, a new road, like this is the road to darkness. This is the road it feels like to the dark forest. And then this is the path to the light. It looks like I wanna choose the, the path that leads me to you. So I do feel this incredible sense of all paths keep leading me back to you or all paths lead me to you. And also a feeling of I no longer wanna be alone, that one of these paths is you know, just brings me back home again. And when I walk in the door and by myself and nobody's there with me and I wake up to myself and I go, you know, go to bed to my, with myself. So I just feel like this person's ready to move forward. This person might even be really excited about a future, thinking about, you know, this light could turn into something more. And for those of you that would love, I love the fireworks in the background. I love this this uh, celebration with the four wands, the Munchkin, Munchkin uh, country, they're calling this card. So the four of wands with this sense of a celebration, you, this path leads me to a celebration and where, wherever this path is leading us. But I love the, I love this path. I, I just love the follow the yellow brick road, everybody. How gorgeous. Let's see when, let's see what they have for you for timelines or numbers or anything they want to share with me that might connect you to your person. Spirit, please share with me. What is it that you need me to know? Okay. This one, <laughs> one to four days. Yay. Okay. Sign me up. There you go. I liked how it flew out of the deck too. That was good. All right. Let's see what else they have for us. I have November. Oh boy. I feel like I'm, um, I'm almost at bingo. I feel like a couple more cards and I'm going to scream bingo. All right. Let's see what else we have. I have at nighttime. We're going to meet this person at night, date at night. Okay romantic night and i have the 29th so we are getting close to the 29th i'm recording this on the 25th and spirit saying bottom of the deck i have it's coming how gorgeous i think that we've got somebody that is making up their mind now that when they met you that you were great you were everything that, that they should have been jumping at. And for whatever reason, they delayed it. And doesn't mean that they didn't want to be with you. Doesn't mean they ghosted you. It, it just means that they just weren't quite ready emotionally. But the timing is better now. And there's this feeling of you really are what I'm looking for. No one else really compares to you. So I really do want to move forward with this. And then I loved the energy of whoever this is, they have the hots for you. <laughs> and we're going to put that out into the universe. I want you to have a great weekend. I want to thank Spirit for these messages today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you always for your kind words and your comments. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please check out my website at kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.